So, real quick before the video starts, if you guys enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Miner's Haven from the beginning, remember to subscribe because this series is going to continue on. So, if you're looking forward to that, hit the bell and all the good stuff, notifications, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, today, of course, we're on Miner's Haven from the beginning. We're on the orange save slot once again. Not joined by Wabeza today, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be a little bit sad about because you guys actually really enjoyed that, that episode that I did with him, which honestly kind of surprised me. I was really happy with the video, and I thought it turned out pretty well, but I wasn't sure how the reaction was going to be on it. I wasn't sure if people were going to enjoy the more funny, highlighty type stuff, and I'm very glad people did. So before we actually get into the, the meat of this video, the grinding and going for the Overlord device and all that, I have a question for you guys, and that is... Would you be interested in seeing more high lady type funny moment stuff on other games? Obviously, I'm going to have Wub back on the channel at some point. We're going to do more Miner's Haven from the beginning, I'm sure. But I also am interested in playing other games at some point, maybe. I'd love to be able to do high lady type videos and have some fun on other games, be able to post them on the channel. So if you guys would be interested in that, and if you guys would want to watch that, then let me know because I would love to be able to do it. Might put up like a community poll or something to get a better idea, but just uh, for now, let me know in the comments. I want to just kind of gauge the reaction to that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Things. I already have some money because I, was, uh, I wasn't grinding off camera or anything. I was just getting set up for a thumbnail, left my setup running for a bit. We'll go ahead and uh, get a rebirth out of the way. We get a Tesla resetter again. That's the second one, I believe, that we have now. This episode, I might try and build myself a new setup. Might try and do a few things like over the Overlord device. I did get this uh, this Honeycomb Solace off camera. Also, nice uh, nice speed run world record right there. Seven days to get a Tesla resetter. That's an incredible time. That was just over a week. But yeah, I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try and build myself a new setup first of all. I'm, I'm probably gonna go for the Overlord device as well at some point in this episode. I would like to have myself that upgrader just to have it. I'm not gonna do the third sacrifice challenge. That's not on the cards now. I'm, uh, I might do that eventually, but not this episode. Right now, I just kind of want to grind. All right, now it's looking like I don't have a lot of uh, multiples of upgraders, so I might just have to do a little. Uh, Tesla loop type thing. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll still just try to throw down what I got, throw down all my good upgraders. Good old Honeycomb Solace right there. Great upgrader. Not really, it's pretty bad. Yeah, my plan for this setup, though, is just do, like, a little simple loop where I can just, uh, remove the teleporter and then throw in the furnace and then the ores will be good to go. Alright, what other upgraders do I got? Surely I have more, right? I, I have some way up highs that I can use, but I don't really want to use those. Oh yeah, the Vestarian upgrader, of course. Gotta have the Flex Man down. Oh yeah, this thing as well, the Pizza Blaster. Alright, I'm gonna check how much these are making just on their first loop, just to get an idea of what we're looking at. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit more than I thought. Okay. Wow, okay, this is a, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even need to use the Tesla Resetter. Alright, you know what, I'll just, I'll go ahead and throw the Tesla Resetter down and then use the one upgrader that I have multiples of. Which is actually the Quantum War Cleaner, so I guess I'll just use that there, and boom, easy. We got our, we got our complete setup right here. You know, I expected to have to do, like, some looping type stuff with this, but I guess not. I get, there we go, new setup, like 37, ease, let's go. Unium Mine is something, I, I'm probably, I'm not gonna use it, Newtonium is better. Didn't expect this to be so good. Yeah, like, look at that. A few wars in, and we're good. 24 seconds, okay. We have ourselves a, a nice little 24 second setup here, ease peas. Alright, look at that, we got one Unreal done, and then we were able to rebirth. And then, look at that, we're cutting down our time, boys, we, we got the Catalyst now, oh boy. What do you get? Big Bertha, that's actually pretty useful. So if I put the yellow teleporter down there, and then I forgot the Tesla resetter, that would probably help if I had that down, you know? I wonder how this would work, though. If I just, uh, just do a little something like that. Then you take away the mine, and then you let the ores loop through. I don't know how many of these have been through, but we'll find out. Alright, so then once it, once that starts flickering, you just throw this down. I just want to see how much we make. Nanillions? Okay. Alright, so that leaves us just a, a few suffixes away from actually being able to get the Overlord device normally. I believe life skipping is off by default, yep, so we should be good just to rebirth anyway. Yes, good old Sage Redeemer, exactly what I wanted. Yeah, okay, though. All, really, all we need to do is probably add some shop upgraders, and then I can just get the get the Overlord. But that's not going to be difficult at all. Oh, I mean, okay, my price jumped up a little bit. That, that's that's good. My price did jump, so this isn't just a death. I, I need to, like, add a Catalyst now, so we can't, we can't do 24 seconds. We're at, like, 27 seconds now, maybe. There we go. Oh, good. Behemoth Blossom. Exactly what I wanted. What an excellent upgrader. Right, 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 slipstream. Yes. 26 items. 26 items each for a second that this setup takes. As well, throw my ore or limit into the upgrade as well. I cannot talk tonight. What is happening? Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on. Another spore. That's good. Yes, spore. Very good. Helpful item. Oh, yeah. I've got ore illuminator as well. I just got another one, so that would probably help out a little. All right. Well, we wait for the super slow setup. Let's open another Unreal box. 
All right, well, we just got the, the best item in the game. We win, we win, that's all we need. We need the Hydraulic Doge right here, we, uh, yes. Just gonna resave the layout real quick because, uh, Alright, Rebirth, let's go. Oh, another Newtonium, cool. <laughs> look at look at this consistency right here. 37, 37, 37, 46. The green tea latte is a disgusting item that I hate. It's not good. It looks good. Not useful at all. Way up high turn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me just use a way up high turn in 2020 Miner's Haven. We're we are in the automation era of this game. We do not have time for way up high turns. Who do you think we are? Like, there's so many other items that you can use that are better than this. This thing has a higher multiplier. I guess this thing is slower, but it's not a way up high. This thing is a, is a big boy. It's kind of plop wars into it. This thing is better. This thing is better. Everything's better than it. A clockwork. That's a pretty good item. I might go for the Overlord device after that. It's not going to be a challenge to get it, obviously, but I'll get it anyway. I might as well have an Overlord device. Got another uh, disgusting plasma scanner. This item's also bad, but I, I have it thrown in because uh, why not? It's an extra upgrade, so you know it, it's usable. It's a usable item. It's not good, but it's usable. Also, I'm sorry if I'm uh, if I'm insulting your favorite items here. If I'm insulting all of your your super useful items for the early game, but uh, I hate all of them. As someone who is a part of speed meta, I hate every single item that isn't as fast as possible. All right, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Overlord device now. I, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Overlord. But, oh yeah, I don't have money because the setup is completely free. All right, here we go. We're, uh, it, it pains me to do this, but we're gonna have to use way of highs, I think, for this. Do I dare? After everything I've said, do I dare? I do. I'm gonna use it. All right, there. I'm gonna wait for the turn. It, it makes my blood boil, but I'm gonna use it. I, I hate doing it, but it, it's gotta happen, I think. Go ahead and use the uh, the ass butt first, though, and then uh, the vortex chamber. Oh, look at this! Look at this thing! It's so disgusting! I hate it! Look at it! It's just sitting here, being all green and turning. All right, well, here we go. We got the we got the full loop set up now. We're ready to go. Everything's set. We just gotta wait for this uh, this old Tesla boy to start blinking here. All right, saw a flicker. All right, we're good. Get in there. Oh, we're we're making UD. We're making UD from this. It's a little bit lower than I was hoping, obviously. Some of my ores just kind of aren't processing. I don't understand why that's happening. Oh, that was a juicy ore. We might get it from this one. Oh, that's close. All right, I really don't need to add anything. I, I think I just need to loop it again, honestly. One more loop and we got it, I'm pretty sure. Just so I can go and save this in the top slot. Was I using the top slot? I had the top slot for the other one already. God damn it. All right, here we go. Furnace go down and then we should get the money here. Oh, those ores were not finished apparently. Okay, yeah, as long as we get a couple other juicy ores. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Yeah. Give me mineral wheel too. That's not bad. That's not bad. And then boom, we win. There we go. Done. All right, rebirth time again. Let's go. Yes. Boom. Done. Easy. All right. So now I might go ahead and spend a little bit of time just uh, just grinding out some rebirths, trying to get up to a a, a better point, trying to get some more items for the hell of it. Might spend a uh, spend a little bit of time trying to grind up to maybe say like a uh, 100 tonight or something. I already got the Overlord device, which uh, I, I expected to be a little bit harder, honestly. I, I know it wouldn't be challenging, but I expected it to be more than what I got. Oh, hey, we got Septillions. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time grinding out some lives now, just see if I can get to a, a, a better point. Yeah, cue the uh, cue the fast pace uh, rebirths popping up now in the video. Real quick, though, I'm going to throw in the mineral wheel, because why not? The, the mineral wheel. The mineral wheel. Jesus Christ. There you go. New setup improvement. Now it's almost instant for me. Woo! All right, now cue the fast rebirths. Boom, easy. Alright, so uh, how's it going guys? I'm back. I've been uh, I've been grinding for a bit up to 126, a little bit more than I was planning on, but you know, it's fine. Just kind of got into things, started getting into the grinding a little bit more. Yeah, so very minimal things have changed since you were gone. I added the uh, the Atlantic Monolith, I got the Dragonglass Mine, that's a good item. 
I think I added a, one more Big Bad Blaster as well, and that's all that's changed with this setup, and it's still working fine for me. In fact, the Draconic, or the, the Dragon Glass Mine, has, uh, has made it very, very good for me. Yeah, so I, wa I wanted to mention something here that I've noticed, which uh, I think is worth talking about, which is that I, there's so many items now that you can get in the early game that everything just is way easier. I kind of expected this, I kind of uh, I kind of knew this ha this would happen. Having this much stuff in the game, I kind of figured there is no way that the game couldn't be uh, couldn't be a lot easier, but there, there's, just, there's just so much that you can get in the early game. Like, look at how many different upgraders I have just in this setup here. This is all just different stuff without a Tesla reset or anything. And even without any, like, the premium items or, like, the exotics or anything, or the executive items. If I took those out, all I would have to do is add in a few other upgraders, maybe the Tesla reset or in a loop, and then this would be, the setup would be fine. It would be perfectly functional again. Like, in fact, here, I'm, I, just for, just for the sake of demonstration, premium items, get out. None of you are here. The executive pillars, honeycomb, all that, get out of my setup. All right, here we go, a new setup. Let's see how much this makes us. Oh yeah, I forgot the pineapple or fine. This is extra two times. Who cares about that? That's not gonna be the difference maker. Oh, you know what is the difference maker though? The ore is getting stuck here on the gate of eclipse. That's nice. All right, well uh, let's see how much the the ore that actually made it through will make us. That's a uh, that's sextillion. It's a little bit low. But if my ores were actually making it through, this setup would be working just fine. All right, well let's give this a uh, let's give this one more try. Maybe my ores will actually make it by now and actually, uh, you know, be able to make it to the upgrader line. Oh yeah, look at that though. That's making plenty. That's making plenty. It's not quite as fast, but it's still, it's still plenty of money. So yeah, that was, that was just kind of to prove my point. There's so much stuff now. And that, like, okay, even if that didn't make me enough money, all I have to do is add a Tesla resetter and then a few more upgraders. And I'm good. I got dupes of a couple of these now, so I'm, I would be perfectly fine off. Like, I would have absolutely zero issue here at this setup. Oh yeah, and I've also got, like, the Lightning Bolt Refiners, and then the, uh, the Big Bertha and all that. So yeah, essentially my point is, right now, the early game is extremely, extremely easy. And obviously, once Third Sack comes around, that's, uh, these items are actually gonna be pretty helpful, and things are gonna feel a little bit more balanced again, because, uh, having that DD Rebirth price from the beginning is gonna mean that more items are gonna be very, very helpful, and we'll probably still have to use shop items and do, like, loops and all that. Won't have any of this jazz and Third Sacrifice that you'll be seeing, but that does lead to the problem that just by having those items in the game, it kind of it kind of hurts the the early game and makes it a lot easier. So maybe there I don't know how you could like reasonably easily change all this other than just like changing life requirements of certain items. Maybe making all of this stuff a little bit less early game and more like mid game type stuff. Because right now I I still very much consider 132 on first sacrifice early game and like having access to as much as I do I think is a little bit too much. Maybe this stuff should be limited a little bit more to mid to late game, like at least a, a little bit higher up in the hundreds of lives. Because some of these upgraders for when you can get them are extremely powerful. There's there's just so much stuff. I I, I also just realized this is a furnace that I couldn't use. They used in the other setup, but the point still does stand. The point still stands that there's there's just too much. There's too much. Also, worth noting for the sake of the series that my luck has uh, completely turned around on rebirthing, which uh, with how big of the how big the item pool is, kind of expected. There's so much good stuff that I can get that it's kind of hard to always get bad stuff. I mean, I did get another green tea latte, which is pretty terrible. But other than that, everything has been pretty good. Is that my first dark magic. That is that is my first. Oh, this thing got changed to a life 100 item. Okay, so they already have done a little bit of changing with stuff, like the Dark Magic being a Life 100 item. That's not how it used to be. So that, that I think is a good change, but I still think there's too much. Yeah, final thoughts, uh, maybe change the life requirement on a bunch of items, make them more like mid-late game type stuff. Because a lot of these items that you can get this early in the game are very, very powerful for what they are, for when you can get them. But I think just like diversifying the, the lives that you can get certain items at would probably help things, make the, make things a little bit more, uh, a little bit more mid-late game type stuff, try, try to not have a bunch of items that sit at like 500 or something you maybe make may, spread stuff across lives a little bit more like i'm sure there's a lot of upgraders that you could pretty easily put into like the the thousands where there's almost no rebirth unlocks or items like once you get into the into the later lives you've got like some life 1000 items a couple 2k items you got a 5k item an 8k item and a 10k item and that's it but you could easily put some of the stronger rebirth items up in those thousands of lives and just start spreading stuff out a little bit more. Making it so that you don't unlock the bulk of items before life a thousand, maybe. But yeah, this is, this is kind of what I was expecting, and even even now, this is a little bit easier than I expected it to be. Like, every, like the times I've played through the game in early game before this, they have all been, like, relatively easy, because you have a decent amount of items, you can, like, loop Tesla and stuff, but none of them have been this easy. I'm literally not using the Tesla resetter, and I'm easily passing Septillions. But I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop harping on the point now. I think you guys kind of 
understand what I'm getting at here. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer here, and I'm gonna see if I can get a one more Frozen Justice, because we're actually at eight, and I would love to be able to get the Evo in this video if I... All right, that works out. That works fine for me. Okay. <laughs> Off to the Craftsman we go. Oh, I wonder if there's anything from the Masked Man that I can buy on this save, too. I, I already have the Helium Blaster. I guess I can buy the Premium Tracker? Sure. Premium Tracker on the save. There we go. Ease. Hello there, Mr. Craftsman. I would like to purchase some wares. I forgot about the Rebirth Shop, too. I can actually probably check this and maybe get some useful stuff from here. All right, whatever. I'm not going to spend any time looking through the shop anymore. We're uh, we're here for the Frozen Justice Evo. Been awaiting this item since episode one of the series. And at the whopping life of 140 in episode 3, we'll be able to get it already. So, you know, pretty pretty good stuff right there. There we go. Frozen Peaks, easy. It's actually an improvement to the setup as well. I believe the Gladiator's Fury only goes up to around 200 times. This is like a much better furnace for me. So, uh, in the first couple episodes, uh, I would have said I was getting pretty unlucky. But now, honestly, having, having the Frozen Peaks, I would say it's actually quite lucky that I got so many Frozen Justices. Is this right here? Pretty good item. I don't know, I'll throw an upgrader that, uh, that I didn't have in the setup to replace the Atlantic Monolith. We'll use the, we'll use the Gate of Eclipse. I, I left the perfect amount of space for it. I, I don't know how normal it is to get to get something like that this early in the game, but you know, here we are. That is pretty good. And a cooling chamber too. That's, a, that's another good item right there. This is another one. This right here is another one that you can get that's a very good upgrader. Life 100 plus, I feel like that should probably be upped a little bit. I also feel like I should mention, I, I don't really want all of these items to get like nerfed into the ground or anything. I don't think that's a good solution. I don't think the items deserve to get uh, completely uh, kneecapped in terms of their usability. I, I just think that something needs to happen. Something needs to change with them. I mean, that's kind of what I was hoping from the series though, to kind of see how the early game is now with all the reincarnation stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a few more reverts, get up to 150 and then end the video there. I think this has been a pretty good one. We made some very significant progress in terms of rebirthing we got the overlord device which was fun and uh we got the best furnace in the entire game so we we basically have a have had a great episode right here oh of course we get another one too beautiful this is exactly what i was hoping for we, we really need more of them after getting the evo already thank you gamer much appreciated well i guess i'll do a little bit of life skipping here for the end of the video Oh, hey, life 151 already. I'll do a few more. I, I feel like doing a few more. We really needed a fourth ore sawmill for our, for our setup. That's very helpful. You know, I don't, I don't think I can sit around and complain about my rebirth luck after having just talked about how rebirth items are too plentiful and how I'm pretty much set up now. I, I don't think I can I don't think I can complain too much anymore after having just said that. But you know what? I'm still going to and I get a, another massive diamond mine. We're up to eight of them now. How many does it take to get the drill again? I'm never going to use it, but I want it. Okay. Hello, Mr. Uh, man. How many do we need for this? Yes, we need nine. God damn it. I kind of want to go for it now. You know, very small part of me wants to just keep playing and see if I can get another massive diamond mine in the next couple of rebirths. Because if I can, that would just be incredible. It would just abs be the absolute perfect way to... Okay. Uh, now, the now the game's just like trying to with me. It, 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 I've gotten two Frozen Justices since I've gotten the Frozen Peaks. Okay. Uh, refer to earlier clip where I said I couldn't complain about the items that I'm getting and then immediately followed by me complaining about the items I'm getting. Man, I, I, I can't I can't keep playing for much longer, but I just want to I just want to try and get this massive diamond mine. I, I just want to get it. The game just had to give me give me the eighth one just to give me that tiniest little slice of hope that I could get it in this video. It just had to. Hey, let's go! We actually got it. I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy I decided to stay on for these last few lives. Hey, let's go! Thank you, game, for actually giving it to me. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna get the massive diamond drill and the frozen peaks in one episode. That's awesome. That's awesome. I am so very happy. Let's go. Massive diamond drill. Oh, and of course, look at what life I got it on. That That's awesome. That's incredible. I, I love this game. That's great. Oh, those ores are pretty large. I, they're worth trillions, billions, though. That's actually, like, pretty good for me. That's not bad. That's not bad. If I use, like, a compactor and a sawmill, maybe that could, like, actually be a useful mine for me. Weird to think that I might, like, potentially get use out of the massive diamond drill. All right, well, I, I think that's just about as perfect of a place as you could have to end things off. Like, 169, we got the last massive diamond mine to make the massive diamond drill. Uh, we managed to get both of these beauties. Uh, what an eventful episode. Yeah, this one was a good one. We made some significant progress, got an overlord device, got a couple of good meme items here to discuss some game balance stuff. 
yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a good time. Those of you who stuck around to the end are real ones. I'm gonna be a shiny showcase probably coming soon, streaming on Saturday as well. But yeah, there's all the plug stuff out of the way. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace out everyone.